Titanic. Jack, what are you doing on that furniture up there? Testing out the stability of it. Today you're going to learn how to use DIY paints and get two different looks with one brand of paint. It's got amazing texture and technique and this one we've got the boho finish and on the other side of me we've got Chippy Farmhouse. Stay tuned and watch all the steps on how to create this look in your home. Okay, so we're going to be filling these little lovely diamonds here. As beautiful as they are, they got to go and I'm using plastic wood because it doesn't shrink and it dries pretty quickly. I'm just filling it down into the holes. It's not wanting to go. Just filling that in. Once it's dry, I'll sand it smooth and can these lovely down? diamonds will be gone. Yeah, you can get down, Jack. That we told you you had to get up there. Now in my dirty, messy garage and I'm just taking my orbital sander that has, let me see. Well, it's got, it's pretty sad. It looks like 80 grit, but I'd say it's probably closer to 100 because it's pretty used. I'm going to just use this and sand off the putty that I had on here. I actually, after I did the putty over here, decided I was taking way too much. So I just used lightweight spackle in these areas. And I may have to put one more coat over the top, but I didn't have enough of the other. So it'll do. I'm going to do a base coat of white. This is DIY clay based paint in beadboard, which you can buy on my website, jamierayvintage.com. Clay based paint is really heavily pigmented and kind of thick. And since I want to wash, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take a little bit of the paint and get it on my brush. And then I'm going to paint it on an area. And then I'm going to take my squirt bottle and squirt and kind of spread it around just to kind of give it a wash. There you go. I'm gonna do this to the whole piece. The base coat is drying and you can see that it's kind of streaky and that's okay because I'm going to cover it. The top I think I might just sand and do kind of like a whitewash look on it, but the base is all painted. I want to show you, this is how much paint I used and I, this was already open and used a little bit and I probably used like an ounce to paint this whole thing. So I could probably do two coats in a few ounces like with this technique with a spray bottle. I even painted the back. The three colors I'm using are Bohemian Blue, Mint Chip, and Apothecary. So I'm starting with Mint Chip on my brush, and I'm just painting it in the middle. Sorry, it's got a few different colors because I already did this side. This is kind of the look that we're going for. But I'm going to put some more Mint Chip on here. And wash that away. I'm not going to wash it yet, Jack. Jack's right there in case you can hear him eating pretzels. He's always underfoot. So I'm just put, painting this on here. I'm going to come back in with apothecary and kind of go around and fill it in. Can you see me? There we go. And here I'm just filling it in with apothecary. Jack, please don't touch that. All right, so this is what it looks like here. Now I'm gonna go back in with the Bohemian Blue. So I'm taking a different brush 
I use the same brush for the apothecary and the mint chip, but the bohemian blue, I'm using a different brush. So I'm just coming around, going around the edges. Not the kind of the um, rhyme or reason is that I'm keeping the light colors in the middle and I'm going around the edge with the dark colors. So that way it looks kind of highlighted in the middle. That makes sense. Just coming up under here. Making sure it's all shaded in. Okay. So that's what it looks like before I spray it with water. I think I've got all the cracks. And I'm going to distress it when I'm done anyway, so I'm not really worried about it being perfect. There we go. So I'm just coming back with my water bottle and hosing it down. You can see it's dripping into my lids here. So I need to move these back. And really be pretty liberal with it until those colors are nice and blended. And sometimes I've been known to use my finger and blend them that way. If they're not going into submission the way that I want, I'll totally use my fingers. All right, you can see that it's dripping a little bit. I've got some brush strokes here. I'm actually gonna come back with my mint chip put on some more mint chip right in here. Mint chip? Mint chip. Really blend those in good. And I always get asked, you're leaving the drawers in? Absolutely. For one thing, the drawers do not go over the edge. So there won't be any lip and I want it to be like a nice continuous organic finish and if you don't take if you take the drawers out you won't get the continuous drips so there you go I like it playing it like that you like it painted like that? Here, you want to paint it? Mm-hmm. Okay, just a little bit. You paint it. You want you to go side to side. Oh, can I do it? Yeah, you do it by yourself. You have to hold it like this. There you go. Okay, can mommy have a turn? Mm-hmm. Okay, thanks for your help. Are you my little assistant, my painting assistant? Mm-hmm. I want to paint it like that. Yeah, you like it this color? All right, so I'm gonna get my mask on, I've got my orbital and my 220, and I'm just gonna go over the whole piece to smooth it out. I could leave it the way it is with the texture, but I like it just a little bit smoother, and then it will be ready to seal. And if I still don't think it's quite perfect, I might do a little wet distress. We'll see. The pieces are all complete. You can see that they turned out completely different using the same brand of DIY clay paint. And this piece, it's solid mint chip and then it's just got this delicious crackle in it. And this piece, we have the amazing boho chippy drippy finish that I've been doing lately. It's layered with white swan, bohemian blue, mint chip, and apothecary, all DIY paints. Completely different look, but the same clay-based paint. 
Both of these are sealed with polyacrylic, which gives it a nice satin finish. Not too shiny, not too matte, and it's definitely durable and wipeable. Don't forget to stay tuned for the glamour shots of both of these pieces. Zeb took some really great photos so you can see the detail. Be sure to go to jamierayvintage.com so you can pick up your own DIY paint. I hope it inspires you to create pieces that you love. Be sure to give us a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. I would love to grow my channel and create more beautiful DIYs for you.